Meanwhile, friends who knew the two men who were shot and killed in Danville late last night say they're in shock. WSOS 10's Coulter Anstead is live right now outside the apartment where the shooting happened. So, Coulter, you talk to a man who says if it wasn't for a phone call, he could have been the third victim. Oh, that's right. James Russell says he was on his way to apartment 320A here behind me on Hughes Street where he used to live. But he says before he got here, the mother of his child called him and asked him to stop by. So he did and did not come to the apartment. 47-year-old Alan Wayne McFall Jr. and 35-year-old John Henry Stewart Jr. were found shot to death inside when police arrived just after 9 o'clock last night. Now, uh, Russell says he did not know McFall, but he has known Stewart for more than a decade. Today, I specifically asked police if they are looking for a suspect, saying it is a matter of public safety that the public needs to know if there is a shooter on the loose, but police refused to release any information to that end. Police also refused to release any information regarding what ha may have led to the shooting. He was a great boxer, he was a great friend, a good listener. If it wasn't for the mother of my child calling me 20 minutes before it happened, I would have been right there sitting in the house when it happened. Now, I also spoke to two uh, residents who were up in an apartment up above 320A last night when the shooting took place. They said they were watching a movie and heard about five shots, and they too say they are shocked. Live in Danville, Colter Anstant, WSLS 10.